Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Babcock Davis. This is their part number, RH-Kit-DD-Latch. This is simply a latch that is used on double door installations. Uh, when you have a roof hatch with a pair of doors, you have a different latch than what you would use on a single door application. Some of the parts are the same, but there's some major differences. So we're going over the double door latch. This is the version that would be used on steel based units. There is an SST latch, RH-Kit-DD-SST latch uh, when you have a non-ferrous uh, roof hatch installation. Th completely separate video. Um, so we're dealing with a steel based unit, double door roof hatch. And that part number is, as we've already said, there is a link below this video to the to a document called technical drawing or whatever it's called and it will show you or parts diagram it will show you an uh, like an isometric view of what the parts look like and we're going to review the physical pieces here and now um, this video is to serve as visual evidence some dimensional evidence of this specific babcock davis double door roof hatch latch assembly um, and used exclusively for those because that's what it has been designed and engineered to be used with. If you have an application where you need help with latching hardware and it looks like this stuff, or even if it doesn't look like this stuff, reach out to us. Send us photographs and we'll help you identify what, you've, what you have, what you're working with. In order to best help you determine what you have, send us not only the photographs, but send us uh, any serial number that might be on the sidewall of the unit. Uh, send us the uh, the depth and the and width of the unit and then the composition of the lid so we know what it is the size and then what it's made of and that will all help determine the weight of the unit um, and what would have been used in it but if we're speaking specifically about a Babcock Davis RH kit DD latch here we go so from that isometric view you can see if you're looking at it you can you can get an idea of what's being put into play here they call it a ZPS, a zinc plated steel replacement part. And then below it, they have a SST replacement part view. That's the stainless steel version. So let's just look at those three pieces that go on a diagonal. Um, you've got the two outside latches and then you've got the center assembly, okay? What's missing is specifically the cabling that will connect the two. You'll need a 16th of an inch uh, stainless aircraft cable with some for rules to go with it. So you can slide that cable in together and then crimp it for a permanent closure. But let's go with it. This is the exterior handle assembly. What, with that, you're going to have the gasket that will go along with it. So that's going to look just like that. This handle is obviously going to be able to rotate. It is going to be able to permit you to put it into the padlocked position as well from the exterior side. This is what's on the outside of the roof hatch, all of this. Some basic dimensional properties. The mounting plate itself looks like it's about three and five, uh, three and seven sixteenths overall length. Its overall width appears to be about two inch. That handle's awfully long. It looks like it's every bit of about eight inch. Indeed, about eight inch long. The length of the spindle. Common question that we get from the from its base itself. The projection about four and a quarter. I'll even give you an idea of what the key stock is. I'm quite sure it's 5 sixteenths. I think every roof hatch manufacturer gets their spindle or key stock from the same place. 0 0.31 by 0 0.312. So yeah, 5 sixteenths. That's what that is. So you'll have your gasket. And then to go along with this is you're going to get four uh, in their, their you know, it, it, it's a line art drawing. So they're somewhat referred to. You'll get these four small hex cap screws. Um, three sixteenths, maybe? That's a guess. I don't know what it is. Um, yeah, it's certainly too small for quarter 20. Then you're going to get these three riv nuts, or what these are called. And what a riv nut does is this would be the side up. And you'll place that into the hole, and those splines on the side are intended to keep it from spinning. 
Well, you bring that nut down into it, and as you tighten, you're gonna you're gonna draw the threaded portion up over and 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 fold out this hollow area, and that's how you'll make a, 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 a the mechanical attachment on the outside of the unit itself. And as I go along here, I'm gonna place the fasteners in the bag so I know what I've already looked at. So that's the exterior side, and again, you can padlock it. Um, as we are moving on now into the interior side, you're going to have the mounting bracket. And that's going to go on the inside. This will be the same mounting bracket that is going to be used for the SD latch, but you're not, you don't have the same parts. There's nothing that goes over here, uh, these two tapped holes. Uh, nothing that screws into here at all um, whatsoever. So let's take some dimensions of this. And this is zinc-plated steel again. Overall width of the bracket, about 4 and 7 eighths. Center line of those screw holes appears to be about About four and three eighths overall depth of the bracket three inch overall height about two and three quarter okay so this is going to get mounted to the underside of the lid and in order to do that you're going to use four self-drilling um, pan head tech screws okay that's how that's going to install so we'll put those away on top of the bracket, you're going to have this concentric circle uh, spacer disc. That's going to fit right in there. Okay. Now, imagine that your outside handle is coming up through here. Okay. We're going to look like this roughly. That spindle is going to come through. On top of that, you're going to place this rectangular radius end bracket that's going to fit over the spindle and have those two holes involved. Then, again, the spindle sticking out, you're going to take your inside handle with these two tapped holes and their set screws, place that over the spindle and secure it down. Okay, At that point you'll be able to rotate everything. Those two screws are really important to get securely fastened down. On to, before we move on to uh, the next thing, your inside padlock hasp will mount right to the two holes that are here and here. Okay, And then of course you're going to be able to have a situation like this where you'll be able to rotate that handle and padlock it now from the inside. You're going to use two of those same self-drilling tech screws for that installation of the padlock staple. Now, this piece is important because now we go to the outside latches. They are the same latch. There's two of them. They're identical. One will get mounted this way and one will get mounted the opposite way is how that's going to work. Okay, So these are literally identical. I'm going to put one of them down. For each of them, you're going to need four of those self-drilling tech screws. And indeed, in the hardware package, in the screw package, I have eight of seven. I have eight of them left over, so I'll put those in my bag. Now, the way that these latches work is... Okay you're going to make contact with the strike that's going to be in the in the construction of the roof hatch and as you get that down there those mandibles are just going to come in and those mandibles are going to come in and lock in place okay until you r rotate the handle rotate the handle that's going to move the stainless cable that you've bought Pull that lever out, releasing the handle. Okay, so quite neat little system that they have there, and that's how this works. A couple basic dimensional properties of the outside latches: overall height or overall length, about five and seven sixteenths. You know, overall width, about an inch and seven eighths. 
overall projection, you know, about three and a quarter inch. Uh, you know, this is so visually unique. You know, if you've got a latch that looks like this, I would say that you've got a Babcock unit, that's for sure. I've never seen a double door latch on anyone else's unit look that looks just like this, so be mindful of that. And at that point, we've covered all of the pieces that are included. So what happens with roof hatch parts is you need you've got a roof hatch and you need parts for it and i don't know and you say to yourself i don't know how long this thing has not worked properly um and it's a mystery well it's a mystery to us obviously as well so that's where the serial number and photographs composition of the lid and the size of the unit all come into play sometimes the factory asks that you fill out a little worksheet you know it's a size of the unit composition of the unit you know uh, things of that nature uh, same sort of scenario but there are lots of roof hatch manufacturers there are lots of versions of all of those made over the decades so sometimes it's a difficult endeavor sometimes it can be difficult calling the factory in the sense that this is for a Babcock Davis steel roof hatch period the factory does indeed get calls from people just wanting to slap it onto their unit and the factory is quite hesitant about engaging in those conversations because um, people seek to either install it on an unknown unit install it onto knowingly someone else's unit or install it onto a unit that they've made themselves the factory's not in the business of helping you determine what parts you need because all that all they're interested in doing is selling parts and selling units for their products that they have engineered and tested. The role of the distributor like us comes in because we have experience in lots of manufacturers products to help you find this mystery material that you're looking for. So we've been exposed to what things look like from a lot of different folks and have contacts with different manufacturers to help you look for that material. So back about the Babcock Davis, I can, I can attest to very good customer service. I can attest to prompt, reliable, predictable shipping lead times. Good build quality. These latches are quite substantial um, in every regard. Um, I don't think that you'll have to be replacing these very often. But they do, but hardware gets removed over the years for whatever reason. Um, it gets damaged. It falls out of disservice. It literally corrodes to the point where it's no longer useful. Finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Babcock Davis products that we sell, also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. Any questions on the Babcock Davis, this is their part number rh-kit-dd-latch or any other Babcock Davis product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.